Hello friends. Today in this lecture, we are going to learn how we are going to apply ARDL model in case of multivariate analysis. In the last lecture, we have learned how we are going to apply ARDL model in bivariate analysis. That means when there were only two variables, one is independent variable and one is dependent variable. Now today we are going to learn about multivariate analysis when there will be one dependent variable and more than one independent variables. You can have two independent variables, three independent variables, four independent variables and so on. I will be working on the same file uh, where my exports will be the dependent variable and your inflation and in interest rate will be the independent variable. So inflation rate and interest rate is independent and export will be the dependent variable. In the previous lectures, we have also learned how we are going to select the optimum lab because whenever we are applying the ARDL model, we have to mention the optimum lag over there. So let us check what is my optimum lag. So var select and I am going to write exports. So you can see the var lag of export is 6. So I have given that exports lag is 6 then inflation rate so war select and now for inflation rate it's one so inflation rate is one and if i'm going to do it for interest rate it is coming to be three but whenever we are applying the multivariate ARDL model, we have to give the combined optimum lag for all the independent variables. So for that, your command will be var select data dot frame and then you have to write the name of the variable. So first variable is inflation rate and second variable is interest rate. Now you can see the lab that the R has selected is 3. Now if you will see the inflation rate lag was 1 and interest rate lag is 3. So what R has done whenever we are finding out the combined lag, they have taken this R has taken the maximum of these two. So maximum was for interest rate so it has taken that the combined lag is 3. So the combined lag for independent variable, variable will be the maximum of all the variables that you are taking. So what will be the maximum lag of all the variables? It will be your uh, lag for all the combined lag of the independent variables. So that means now whenever we will be applying the ARDL model, we will be applying ARDL model with the combined lag of independent variables to be 3. So let us create the model. So let's say I am creating the model 1 is equals to ARDL DLM. Now I will be writing formula equals to first of all your dependent variable is exports then tilt sign and now the independent variables. Independent variable is inflation rate plus your interest rate comma data equals to uh, we have to give the name of the file the name of the file is data underscore indian eco comma p is equals to that means lag of independent variable is 3 because combined lag that r is taken to be 3 comma variable a dependent variable lag which is mentioned by Q is 6 and then enter. Now we are going to write summary model 1 and this is your output. Now in this output you can see that the inflation rate which was my first independent variable but the lag optimum lag is 1. But the output is, you, it has given you the output for optimum lag 1, 2 and 3. And for interest rate, optimum lag is 3. 
so it has given you all the uh, optimum lag all the outputs with the optimum lag of 1 2 and 3 and for the expose that is your dependent variable we have taken the optimum lag to be 6 it has given the value for all the 6 lakh. Now after seeing this result you can see that your results are significant when the inflation rate is at lakh 2 and your uh, interest rate is not giving me any significant output and export is giving me the significant output at lakh 1 and lakh 5 and lakh 6. So this is the output of the model but whenever we were finding the optimum lag it was showing that the inflation rate should have the lag 1. But in the output we are seeing that for the inflation rate uh, at the lag 2 my answer is significant. So I can say that I can include the uh, lag 2 for inflation rate but I have to remove the lag 3 of the inflation rate. Because uh, whenever I was selecting the optimum lag, it was also saying that optimum lag 1 is to be taken. And over here, we are also seeing that if I have taken optimum lag of 3, it is of no use because it is insignificant. So we have to remove this lag from the output. So that's all how we are going to create for a model for ARDL model in case of multivariate analysis. In the next lecture, we are going to learn how we are going to remove these lags. That means these values are insignificant. So how we are going to remove all these lags from the ARDL model so that we can have a more, uh, you can say, more accurate model for the ARDL analysis. Thank you.